Matthew chapter 7 through 9. Chapter 7 opens very strongly. Jesus is wrapping up his Sermon on the Mount, and he's giving us this warning against hypocrisy. He's saying, how can we focus on the sins of other people when we haven't even acknowledged our own? Then he gives us this call to enter through the narrow gate that leads to life. And we who are saved, we are on this path toward an eternity with God. But while we are still on earth, let us be diligent in staying in our word and pursuing um, his voice to know which way that he wants us to go, that we may not wander off that perfect path that is laid out before us. Then in chapter 8, we see his diversity of healing. We see his power over um, demons and a sickness of every kind, and even the weather in verse 26 when he um, calms the storm while he and his disciples are on the water. Then in chapter 9, we see him prove his claim to be the Messiah even more through the works that he performs. Um, There's this moment where he's sitting and eating with some tax collectors, and the Pharisees challenge him. They're like, what are you doing hanging out with these sinners, these bad people. And in verse 13, he responds to them. He says, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice for I didn't come to call the righteous, but the sinners. So that's what I want to pray for us for today. Heavenly Father, um, to this day, we know that Jesus's death is the only sacrifice that pays the price for our sin. We ask that you would protect our hearts from pride and help us to look at this fast, not as a sacrifice for you, but as a gift expressing gratitude for the forgiveness that we have already received and help us to gain an urgency to live in a way that draws others toward the reality of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray.